happy Saturday, everyone. Wanted to, I, I kind of got into the chalks, and I got another idea to use a different tool to use our uh, soft pastel chalks. So I wanted to actually do that today and give you a quick and easy card that you can make with our note cards. So I'm going to use a Forever Blossoms um, stamp set because I just love this flower here and it's got a cute uh, sentiment that I was thinking of. I'm going to send it to a friend and I, it says, you mean so much to me. So that's the um, sentiment I'm going to use. And I'm going to be using our blender pen. And let me show that to you in our catalog. You get um, our blender pins here. We don't use them very much in some of our things that we do, but I thought about that since it is a little bit of a water-based paint pin that you could use your chalks with that. So I'm going to be actually filling in the flowers with the blender pins, and you get actually, I believe, with this you get um, three pins with this order. So if you decide that you want to use something like that, it's on page 129 in our catalog. But I decided that our note cards are a great tool to have in your toolbox um, when you want to make a quick and easy card. This um, package comes with 20 cards and envelopes, a great way to cut to uh, put it together a very quick card, really no cutting. All you have to do is stamp, put a sentiment on it, do something on the inside, and you are done with whatever you want to send. Um, I think this is a great thing to keep in your toolbox. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get this started. Hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. It turned out to be a very nice day here. It's actually kind of cool. So I'm uh, enjoying the day. I did a little things outside and it came in and it got this idea of using my blender pen. So I said, I'm going to come in and do a video and show you guys how to do this. So I put this already on my uh, block, and I'm going to use my Memento ink um, to stamp this onto my card. So I'm going to go ahead and get this inked up really good. And I'm going to go ahead and just stamp that on, and I'm going to do it so it's got a little bit of a curve to it. So I kind of had an idea, so I'm leaving a little bit of room at the bottom to put my sentiment. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that on. There you go. Stamping's all done there. And I'm going to go ahead, and since I've already got my uh, Memento ink, I'm going to go ahead. I've decided I want to put a flower on the inside of the card at the bottom. So I'm going to get out. Um, there's a small flower here and a leaf. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the friend. And then I already have my other sentiment out. So I'm going to go ahead and um, at least get those tools out so I can go ahead and stamp. So when I do my coloring, I can do it all at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and get my flower out. And go ahead and stamp that on the inside. You know how I always like to do my testing. Make sure I've got enough ink on my um, flower. Put that there. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing as I'm going to go ahead and do my leaves. Thought this would make a really cute on the inside addition to the card. Go ahead and stamp that. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this over, and I'm going to go ahead and get started with our pastels. And I'm going to just take our thing. And all you have to do is just grab some color um, from the pastel chalks. Let me show you what it looks like here. So it actually gets the color pretty well. So it's uh, going to be a little bit darker than if you're just using the chalks on, its, on their own, like I showed you yesterday when I used um, the... Uh, daubers or the uh, q-tips so um, here i'm just using the gorgeous grape and i'm just coloring it in now you don't what you have to be careful with this a little bit because it is going to be a little wet so you don't want to press real hard or do it this too wet because um our basic white will actually take water pretty well 
but um, you just don't want to oversaturate it. So you can see I'm just grabbing it, doing some little coloring, and moving on. If you need to fix anything, of course, you can go back and do that uh, once once you see that it dries. See if you need to fix anything. The only the way you get your color off of this is that you just go ahead and wipe it on a, a white sheet of paper, and you can see how it gets light, and a lot of that color will come off. Of course, I've got clouds today, so I'm going to turn my light on a little bit so you can see that a little easier. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my uh, Poppy Parade, and that's going to be my next color up here. And you can see it's pretty clean on that brush just by wiping that color off. So I don't have to worry about um, that I've got a color still left on there. So this, this technique works pretty well with these chalks. Makes it really easy just to go in, stamp something, and color it, and send it off in the mail to someone or you can make a whole set of these which i think would be cool cute to do make a note card set and send it to someone as a little gift believe me they would love that who wants to go out and spend that kind of money these days on cards it's crazy um i'm going to go ahead and do my coastal cabana for this flower over here i mean i when i go into the stores these days and it, look at the cost of a greeting card. They want sometimes seven dollars for hardly anything in the card. It's just crazy. I'd much rather send a handmade card to someone. They appreciate it and the fact that you've you've taken the time to make something than going out and uh, buying one. So and I don't want to spend that kind of money these days for a card. I like I like making my own. <laughs> Gives me a chance to do some crafting, and who doesn't want to do some crafting? So this is the um, Night of Navy, and you can make it as dark as you want or as light as you want. If you want to put more uh, color in, you just go back over it and put a little bit more darker color. So you can actually do a little bit of shading if you want. And I think down here I'm going to make this bud down here more of a coastal cabana again. See what I'm saying? It just—it's taken me no time at all to do this fl uh, this flower. This is our Granny Green Apple, and I'm going to go ahead and color that in with the leaves. And you just go back and grab more color if you want to make it a little darker. So very, very easy card to do. You could really do just about anything. Take any flowers. I have this new stamp set called Shade is Summer, and I think that would make um, some cute note cards. So I might do something like that. It's got some flowers and some pretty sentiments. So I'll make this one just a little bit greener over here, so I'm going to add a little bit more. So I'm going to show you that you can kind of go back over and just make it a little bit more greener if you want. All right. And I've got my stem here, so I'm going to get my uh, mossy green right here, and I'm going to go ahead and just fill that in very lightly, just so I don't have any white showing. You can do that with, um, just don't put a lot of pressure on and just kind of follow the stem. It'll just add a little bit of color in there for you. All right, get that done. And then I think up here I'm going to go back to my gorgeous gray, color in these buds up here. And see what I'm saying? Done. We've already colored up a whole little note card there. And see, it doesn't bleed on in the inside, so you're good to go on that. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and just put my sentiment down, and I'm going to go ahead and use my friend. And I'm going to pull out one of my inks. I think I'm going to use Highland Heather. because you know, that is my favorite color. I use all sorts of colors, but when, I, when I'm doing certain things with flowers, I like to use um, my purples. I like Gorgeous Grey, Highland Heather, and that Purple Posy. Those are all pretty colors. So my friend, I'm just going to put right here. There you go. And then on the inside, I'm going to do um, the sentiment that says, You mean so much to me. Try not to get my head in the camera. Not easy. <laughs> I have the tendency to want to go over and look. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in this flower here. 
and I think I'm going to go ahead and, of course, because I am sending this to a friend, she knows I love my purple. I'm going to use my gorgeous grape again and fill in my flower here. So, like, you can make it very light. As you can see, I'm doing this is like a very light color here. Or I can make it a little darker by going over it again with just a little bit more color or picking up more color on my blender pen. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and fill in my leaf here with my granny green apple. I just wanted to pop on and do a, um, a quick and easy card, you know, because I'm always talking about how I love doing those, and I really am doing a quick and easy card today. So there you go. There is your card for today. Something with a blender pen. All you have to do is pull out your, your pastel chalks, your blender pen, your memento ink, and stamp away and color, and you've got a card that you can send to a friend. So there you go. I, let's see. I have done that in 11 minutes by explaining everything to you. So there you go. I hope everybody's having a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Remember, Monday, I'm going to be taking that as my holiday, so we won't be on there. But Wednesday, um, we will be back with our scrapbook page a video at 2 o'clock on Wednesdays. Have a nice 4th of July, everyone. See you later. Bye now.